Play TV Plus. The Ogun State Government has approved the immediate employment of 1,000 teachers to reduce the deficit of teachers in both primary and secondary schools. Governor Dapohabiodun who announced this on Thursday during the 2023 Teachers' Day celebration in Abeokuta also revealed the engagement of first 2,000 teachers into the teachers' internship program to further bridge the gap in the teaching service in the state. I'm approving the immediate employment of 1,000 teachers who have distinguished themselves in the, Ogun te- in, in the Ogun Teach scheme permanently into the state teaching service to demonstrate our commitment to reducing the teachers' and students' ratio in our classrooms and appreciate the support of teachers in the March 18, 2023 governorship poll, he stated. Abiodu appreciated the leadership of Abiodun appreciated the leadership of the Nigeria Union of Teachers and the Academic Staff Union of of secondary schools. Equally announced a gift of a two bedroom bungalow for one of the teachers, Akim Badru, for being the first African to win the Best Teacher Cambridge Award. He also rolled out cash prizes ranging from one million naira to two million naira for teachers who distinguish themselves in public schools across the state. Wife of the Lagos State Governor, Dr. Ibijoke Sonwolu, has called on home orphanages in the state to register each child under the care with, with the Lagos State Health Management Agency for proper health care coverage. The governor's wife, who spoke on Thursday at the Lagos House, Alausa, during the pre-conference press briefing for the National Women Conference organized by the Committee of Wives of Lagos State Officials, said orphans in the state are now being covered under the Lagos State Health Insurance Scheme. The orphans in the orphanage, it was difficult for them to access health care in the past because in the hospital, they would require their father and mother, but they don't have parents to stay with them. So, we made a case for them and now Lashma, and now Lashma has gone around to ensure that all orphans in the state, under the registered orphanages, are captured in the nearest hospital to the orphanage, she stated. She further stated that 894 orphans were registered in all the hospitals last year, adding, Orphanages have been advised to register every child that is with them with Lashma. So, any child that doesn't get attention, it is because maybe that orphanage has not registered their child. And that helps us to monitor what is happening in those orphanages. Speaking on the women's conference with the team, Unleash Your Potential, the governor's wife and chairman of council said the 2023 edition, which will be, which will be held at the conventional center, a co hotels and suits, from October 17th to 19th is aimed at challenging participants to take bold steps, face their fears, and push past their comfort zones. And when they do, they can unleash their potential and discover what they are truly capable of achieving. Meanwhile, the Kidnap Benue State Commissioner for Information, Culture and Tourism, Matthew Abo, regained his freedom on Thursday. Governor Hyacinth Alia, in a statement on Thursday by his Chief Press Secretary, Kulat says said the commissioner had reunited with his family. Abba was abducted on September 24 by gunmen who invaded his house in Sakibian. We can confirm that the Commissioner for Information, Culture and Tourism, Honorable Matthew Habo, has regained freedom. He has since reunited with his family in Sankere, Okum local government, where he was abducted. No ransom or any other monetary ends or any other monetary exchanges were involved in securing his release. Rather, its release was as a result of intense pressure on the criminals from the Galan security operatives who were acting on the directives of Governor Hyacinth Alea, who had earlier given marching orders for them to ensure Mr. Abbott's release. The statement said, Alea warned criminals operating within the state to leave for good, insisting that they would not be tolerated in any form. Finally, on the news, barely a week after their abduction, members of the Christ Apostolic Church, Okeigon, Akura Ondo State, have been set free on Thursday evening. It was gathered that the victims were released after their families paid the sum of 50 million naira ransom. The victims were kidnapped at the Elegbeka area in the Ose local government area of the state while traveling to Ifo along the Benue Akure Expressway last Friday. According to a family source, they were released at the same Elegbeka area where they were kidnapped last week.